Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to draw this component in isometric. Now if you look at it, the total height is 40 plus 50 plus 40. That is 130. So I'm going to take my T square and my C square, place it this way, right? And I'll draw my vertical line like this. see that so I'm going to measure the 130 starting from 1 then I will end at 14 so starting from 1 right then in asymmetric we know that when you place your t square your set point t square the inclined side is 30 so the inclined side we have 30 degree and I'll turn it this way around also I'm going to have another 30 degree right so let's do that now i've done that so we're stopping here then you look at it the width the entire width here is giving us 50 right since the diameter is 50 it means the entire length and width is 50 so i'm going to measure 50. so with the help of my t square and c square i'm going to measure 50. so place it here from 1 to 6 is 50. then i'll do the same thing here also from 1 to 6 is 50. Right. So project this line upward this way. Project this line upward this way. Right. Then I'll close it up. What I did here at this point, I'll do it at this point also. Then I'll turn it over the same thing. So I'll close them up. From here it's closed up. And from here it's also closed up. So what I did here, I'm going to do it here and here. So I'll place my compass, my t square, my set square, my t square, and I'll do this here. And I'm going to do this here also. This is stage one. Now, the height. If you look at this, from here to this point here, it's giving us what? 40. So I'll measure another height of 40. Don't forget, the diameter is 50. So the height is what? 40. So I'm going to measure 40. So with the help of my rule, I'll place it I'm starting from 1. So if I start from 1, means this is 10, 20, 30, 40. So I'll stop here. Right? So what I did here, that I did here, I also did at this point 40 here. So let's do that and see. So at this point, I'll draw this, which is 40. I'll turn it. I'll do the same thing here also. From here, this is 40. I'll come to this point, I'll do the same thing. I'll move it on my T square. It's another 40. So I'm making it to form a cube, right? More like a cube. So let's see how that goes. So this is what I have here. Right? So I've done that 40, not this one here. Right? So I'll come here and I'll just draw my diagonal. I'll draw my diagonal from this point to this point here. 
right so if i do that now the center from here from here to here we need this 50 half of it is what 25 then i'm going to do this if i do this automatically i've got in the center where this 12 them meet is the center and i'll draw another line this way that will pass through the center so it's just like i'm having my vertical and horizontal axis so now what i really need is this so i've done this already now from this point here i'll draw a line that will touch here and from this point here i'll draw another line that will touch here so let's do that if i draw a line from here it is going to touch here right to touch here Then I'll draw another one that is going to touch here. So where they meet, that is where I am going to draw my circle. I'm going to repeat the same fit underneath here. So I'm going to join here to here, just like I joined here to here. So let's do that and see from this point to this point. You can see that? Then with the help of my t square and c square, I will just draw another parallel line, parallel line like this, which is parallel to this axis. So where they meet at this point is my center line here, right? So I can easily just complete the box here. Just draw a line that will pass through this point here, right? This way. So I've got in this line that I need and this line that I need so the good news here is with the help of these two points here I don't have to redo what I did up I'll just place my C square my T square I'll place it here and I'll just gauge it this is the point I need it on this line so this is my first point this is the other point here I need it on this line and this is my other point so this is what I actually I need if I like I should just be able to complete the box on that because you can only bring out a circle in a box so I can now bring this out this way and I'll bring this out this way too this way so where they meet is here so I need these three points so let me just draw that circle out so you see what I'm actually trying to say so if I place my compass at this point I'm going to get it to this point here, right? And I need this circle this way. Is that taken? I need this way from here to this point. Can I see that? And I'll place it here to complete this. You know, let's get it. See that? Taking. So let's get it from here. So I have that. And I'll do the same thing here also. This point. Then I'll get it here. And I'm going to do this. So I'll stop here. That's how I'm going to stop. So I'll come up here too. I'll replicate the same thing at this point. I'll take it to this end in here. So I can easily draw this. But to be on faint line, first of all. I'll come here also. I'll do the same thing here too. Faint line too. First of all. Then I'll come here too. I'll just get here. I can actually bring it out if I want to. I'll just stop here. Right? Then here also. I'll do the same thing at this point. So use your faint line first. I'll stop here. 
Now this is our first step. Now what I'll just do is to join this point from here to here. From here to this point. I'll join this. Then from here to this point. Now, this is the first thing we we'll do. Now, we've actually drawn this point out. We've done with A, right? We're coming to this point B here. The height is what 50. So, from here, I will show measure 50 upward. So, let me measure the 50 upward, and I will have this this way. So, with the help of my compass, my ruler, I'll measure 50 from this point here. So from here, I'm going to measure 50. So this is from 1 to 6 is 50. You can see that? So we'll just close it up. So I'm closing it up. This way, from here. I'll draw this. And from that point, I'll draw this too. Then I'll close it up. Close it up. I'll come here also on this point. I'll close it up. If you watch my previous video, you get to understand what I'm actually doing here. Now, to get the center line, is that I'm going to take draw a line the diagonal from this point to the other point here, the longer diagonal, which is this. And we know this is the center here of this. I'll just take this up. From here, I'll take it up. You can see. So if I just draw a line from here, because from here to here is 50, half of it is 25. So I'll just measure 25 half of it, which is this point here. I'll just draw. The way they meet is actually the center. Then I'll draw another line at this point here. This is this. So they are meeting at this point here. So I'll draw it. Before I do anything, I'm going to measure because if you realize from this other diagram here, this has a different diameter. The diameter here is giving us 35. Right? So I'll take half of the diameter. So 35 divided by 2 is 17.5, right? So 17.5, I'm going to measure with my compass and I'll measure in all directions. What did I mean by in all direction? I'm going to take this and I'm going to measure 17.5. So this one, this 10, and this 15, 16, 17.5, somewhere around there, right? And I'll place it at the center here. And I'll mark here, here at all angle, right? Now mark here also. Then I'm going to mark here too. So I can actually do that here also. Right? So with the help of my meter rule, my rule, my pencil and my C square, I'll place it on my T square. Now also just draw a parallel line this way. Come to this point also. Draw another parallel line this way. Then turn the T square, the C square, place at this point here to draw another parallel line this way. Right? Then come here also, do the same thing, draw another parallel line that will touch this point this way. So you can notice it, I've got another box in. I'm going to draw a line that is going to touch just four corners of the box. So we'll draw a line from this point to touch this here, just like the way I did in the first circle, and another one from here to touch here. Now in doing that, I'm going to take my my compass, I'll place it here, get it to this point, then I'm going to draw an arc, faint line first of all, and I'll tell you why. From here, place it here also. I'll do the same thing this point, right? Then I'll place it 
at this point also to this point I'll create the same thing here here then I'll come here also I'll do the same thing I'll repeat it here paint line now I'll just join bring that line straight downward I'll bring this line straight downward from this point here I'll just take it down here and I'll take this one down too here to touch this line here so what you just actually do here is there's another curve you're going to replicate that same curve here so what would I do I'll just take this point and I'll trace it downward from this point here I'll trace it to this point so there's another point from this point here I'll trace it to this point this is another point right so in doing that I can also do the same thing here too from this point I'll trace it here where I'm going to draw my parallel line like this draw my parallel line this way you can see that and I can just complete it the rest since it's touching the diagonal so I'll just from here complete it draw another one this way right I'll come here also I'm going to draw another one this way touching the diagonal right so this is what we do since I've drawn this touching the diagonal the next one here from here I'll do the same thing too touching the diagonal this way then I'll come here also I'll do the same thing here too and this from this point here this point I'll draw it down from here to touch here is a point two. So this is where I'll draw my line. This is the line I need here. So it's touching this guy. So I need this point. Then the other point also I'm going to trace it down from here to touch this other line because this line is parallel to this line. So I'll draw another line here. So what I'm going to do. So we will bring that we will just take our compass head and place it at this point and I'll gauge here. Just so I'll bring this faint line. You can see that? I'll come here also. I'll do the same thing too. Let's zoom in this faint line. Then from this point here, I'll do this. Make sure that it is touching here. Right? So this is what level we have here. Right? So I'll just take my rule and I'm going to join from here. This point to this other point here. Can I see that? I'm going to take it from here also to the other point here. I'm going to take it. Right? So the next one I'm going to do is the last point here, which is this. I've done this, I've done this, it's remaining this. I'll repeat the same thing. I'll just come to the top and I'll measure. So we know that the diameter of this is 20 right so and the height is 40 so since i've already got in total height we mean from here to here it's 40 already so the, i'll just focus on the diameter which is 20 so let's see how that goes diameter of 20 so i'll take my rule and i will join from this end of diagonal to the end of this this point to get the longer diagonal here which is this right so all i do i'm going to trace 20 left right to all corners so I'll use 10 10 10 since the diameter is 20 I'm going to take 10 to all direction from here to here is 10 right so I'll place it here I'll mark 10 here 
Alma Canada ten here, Alma Canada ten here, Canada ten here. I'll make it form a box. I'll make it form a box, right? And then that I'll be having something like this. So to form a box this way. So with the help of this, you know I have this already. So this will form a box. This also will form just draw a line. Then I'll turn. And do this also. Turn my test square to do this on this point. I'll draw another line. And this other point too. I'll draw another line. So you notice it by meeting at this point. Also meeting at this point. Also meet at this point at this point. That is where my circle will be. So it's these four corners I'm going to trace up. Right? So I'll just if I trace this center line here if i trace it up let me see i'm using it to mark this center here so that is where i'll use and draw a parallel line if you watch my video you get to understand what i'm actually trying to do here this is what i have here then with this i'll draw a line that will go through the center here where they meet and i'll have this this way so from here, I will trace this point upward. Now if you look at this point here, this point that we have here, right? I can trace it to this point. No, this point here. Talking about this point. I can trace it to this point. Right? I can also trace this end point here to this point too. This is where all my points is going to meet. So if I come here and I place it here, I'm going to have this coming here like this. Then also I'm going to have this coming like this. So then I'll do this too. Come down here to touch this, and you will come here to touch this. I've actually brought that box out, so I'm going to complete it with my code. The way I did the previous video. Now you can only use your French curve if you want to. Now I can use my French curve. If you look at this, this is 20, and we are told that our diameter is what 20. So I can use this if I don't want to use my compass. I'm going to place it, I will gauge it on that point. On that line you must know how to use it right so if i place it like this i'll ensure that it is straightened if i do that i'm going to have this this way like this straight line right i'll come here too i'm going to do the same thing here too right I'll do this this way. Same line. Now I'm going to I'm going to join this ending to this this way. Now I'll go join this ending to this this way. Just like this guy here. Then what I'll do here is taking this. Right, I'm going to take in this this way. Then I have to do this also with my compass. So let's do that and see. So with the help of my compass, I'll place it at this point, and I'm going to get this. So if I use this guy, you got in this. Then you use the twenty that you got earlier. Which is this to complete this here? So that's how that goes. This is 20 here to complete this. So you can actually use a French curve if you want to. 
And then do this. Right? Now the next thing is this here. So you use it and you do this. So you close it up. And here also. Now the last but not the least is this bigger one here. I can easily use my French club, my compass. I place it here. And I can easily get this. Where am I? From here to this point to here. Then from here to this point here. Then from here to this point here. Then here. Then here. get that here also to put on this right so this is what we have we have successfully brought out this which is the ship that we have here so if you found this video helpful please don't forget to click on the subscribe button